and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Today I have a non-fiction book review for you. As you know, November was non-fiction November and I did read a lot of non-fiction in November. One of my favourite reads of the month, however, was Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies, which is curated by Scarlett Curtis. I knew I was going to love this book because, as you know, I am a big fan of pink and I am a feminist. I wore pink especially for this video, pink hair, pink lips. I just didn't know how much I was going to love this book. I just, oh, it's such a great book. If you are on the fence about getting this book, just do it, take the plunge, get it, it will be worth it. This is going to be a book that I will revisit. This is right up there with my Laura Bates books and some of my favorite fiction books. It's just fantastic and it just covers everything. Everything from every point of view, anything you could want to know or have thought of or wondering if everybody else is thinking the same as you, it's in this book. Um, it has a collection of essays and a few poems as well. The essays cover so many different topics. We have childbirth covered, we have um, the glass ceiling covered, we have uh, about the, the misconception that we are the weaker sex covered. There is Bridget Jones Feminism Today Diary by Helen Fielding. I mean, what's not to love about that? And it is broken down into various different sections as well. We have epiphany, anger, joy, a poetry break, action, education, some further reading, which is really interesting. I love books that give me some further reading. And then some last words. And at the very back as well, there is a section for your thoughts. So rather than annotating the book as you go, you can add your thoughts on these note pages at the back, which is fantastic. And you should definitely, as it says here, definitely go and follow at Feminists on Instagram. I will leave that linked below as well because it's so wonderful. I just wanted to share a few of my sort of favorite bits from this as well with you. One of my favourite sections was a playlist for feminists in any situation. And we have uh, Alanis Morissette, Beyonce, You Don't Own Me by Leslie Gore, Diamond Heart by Lady Gaga, I'm Coming Out by Diana Ross, King of Anything by Sarah Bareilles, Just a Girl by No Doubt, and No Scrubs by TLC. And it has these awesome kind of like excerpt quotey bits peppered throughout the book as well which are just highlighting some of the very very favorite favorite books um this one here is uh feminist comebacks by scarlett curtis scarlett curtis has a few bits obviously because it's curated by her and her bits are really really just enlightening and interesting throughout the whole book um yeah, so this one here, this misconception here, where I live, women are allowed to vote and drive cars and run for prime minister. Why do we even need feminism? And she, you know, covers it. Great question. Thanks for asking. You're incredibly lucky to live in a place where women have such great quality of life. But the sad fact is those, those rights aren't universal. A feminist who only fights for the lives of women like herself isn't fighting for everyone. I'm going to keep going at this feminist thing until all women have the same access to human rights. Also, in the UK, 18, women earn 18.4% less than men to do the same work, and only 32% of MPs are women. So I wouldn't say our job is done here quite yet. Um, I thought those statistics were interesting. It isn't a book which is full of statistics, but there are statistics where they need to be. Um, then this poem, which is by uh, Swati Sharma, uh, is called I Don't Feel Like a Woman. And I love the highlighted quote from this one. Nope, I am a woman and I get to decide what that means. Define what that means. And I love, love, love that one. And then... 
Oh, this one here is um, If In Your Mind You Are Born A Girl by Tasha Bishop, who's the founder of The Pants Project. It tells you the background of quite a lot of these women as well, sort of where they're coming from in their essay and sort of why they've been chosen to... Um, take part in this fabulous book as well and again I l just love the highlighted quote from this bit it says if in your mind you were born you are born a girl you will grow to be a woman through experience um, so this is um, all about intersectional feminism and therefore own voices are important and are represented we have all different groups represented and in various different ways um, i think a, a lot of what is kind of marketed behind the book is the fact that they've got celebrities to write essays aka actors and uh, or actresses um and people in the public eye but there are essays from a broad representation of people and so as i said at the beginning of the video if you are on the fence about buying this book just do it just take my recommendation and do it it's just fantastic and once i started it i couldn't stop reading it some of the essays are super short just a couple of pages some of them are longer five or six pages and of course you've got some poetry in there and some statistics and some further reading so it's just a brilliant book and I love it and I really recommend it so you should definitely read it too. Um, I will be back with another vlogmas video for you tomorrow uh, so make sure you're subscribed so that that lands in your subscription feed. If you have any other amazing books on particularly intersectional feminism please leave the recommendations in the comments below. I've made a few videos on this channel featuring some books but I'm always always looking for more and um, I'm sure other people would appreciate the recommendations as well. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.